What's going on guys? TK back with another video. So today I'm gonna go over how to use Armor Rouge. Armor Rouge, I'm gonna just say Armor Rouge because I think that's how you say it. And VGC, Mega Man himself. You know what I'm saying? This is one of the coolest Pokemon they ever created. I, I know people are saying we we are kind of stepping out of the bounds of, of Pokemon, you know, with the, uh, you know, they're not animals anymore. But I'm like, man, we've been, we haven't been, did y'all see Gen 5? They, they literally made ice cream Pokemon, man. Like where y'all been? We've been out of the realm of animals. I like stuff like this. Keep them coming, Pokemon. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm trying to grow the channel. So support your boy. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep giving y'all this heat content as long as y'all keep supporting me. It motivates me. It drives me to give y'all, you know, some some stuff, some tech. I'm pretty sure there's like stuff like this out here already. But, you know, I can put my own spin on it too. Put my own personality on it. So, yeah, if you guys wouldn't mind, I appreciate the support. But anywho, let's jump into the video. So you guys want to learn how to use Mega Man. All right. So I'm going to just go through some sets and I'm going to show y'all. <laughs> I'm going to mix and match some stuff and show y'all what I like. Um, I do think he has like three viable terror types that I like. And that's that's fire, um, grass, and fighting. I like fighting. I, and I'll give my explanation on it. But this first set right here, I'm going to go with. This is the set I'm, I'm building a team around right now. Um, I'm currently building a trick room team. And I like this set. So... I actually like Covert Clo or excuse me, Clear Amulet. And the reason I like clear, clear Amulet, because I usually like to start in DD Armor Rouge, trying to set the trick room right. And then, you know, your opponents usually try to like snarl the Armor Rouge because they know they know um, he's like the big boy in the group. Like, look at the spread. It's like 252. Mod. He has a really high special attack stat. It's crazy. 125. And then, you know, I'm trying to do damage after I set the room. So they like to snarl to try to like debilitate him or whatever. So I like, I kind of like Clear Amulet, but you can go with Life Orb too if you, you know, you could play around that. But. The thing that's good about Armor Rouge in this in this generation is that so many Pokemon lost expanding force. They took it from Ndidi, they took it from Hatterin. He's the I, I'm pretty sure he's the only Psychic type in the regional decks right now that actually gets expanding force. And this move is so powerful when you pair it with Ndidi Psychic Terrain because in Psychic Terrain, not only does this move get powered up um, in his stab because he's Psychic type, right? User on Psychic Terrain 1.5 times power, right? And it hits both foes. It becomes a spread move in Psychic Terrain. This is so much power. Combine this with like Life Orb. He's he's tearing through walls, man. It's, it's nothing for him. And then Flash Fire kind of helps you against like, you know, opposing Torkoal. Let's say you set Trick Room and then they have a Torkoal on the team. Well, they can't hit Armor Rouge. Or he can't hit Armor Rouge like Eruption or whatever. So he's like immune to that. And it powers him up. So the reason I like Terra Fighting is because like he's Psychic. So, you know, he's, he's susceptible to like, well, I mean, in Psychic Terrain, I guess you're not going to get hit by Sucker Punch or whatever. But like... To break through certain things like um like uh I, I guess Garganicel or Garganical, however you say his name. And then like let's say you know a dark type is you know a dark type move is coming where you could you could uh terrestrialize into a fighting type and then now you could take that now you could take that dark move. Remember terrestrialize you still have you still have um stab on all your other attacks, which is crazy. So that's why I like fighting Terra type too, but you know. Just for this set, I kind of like Life Orb and I like I like um, Clear Amulet. I feel like you can mix and match both. I just I just like I played a few games on Showdown. I'm like, man, Clear Amulet kind of kind of works out because they like to start Arcanine and kind of like snore you. But I'm like, hey, you can't lower my stats. So, but in the next set, this weak armor set. So you have like the weakness policy, Terra Fire set. Uh, <laughs> you just have to use somebody to like the weak armor if he if he's hit by a physical attack. His defense is lower by one and speed is raised by two. So it's kind of funny because like you compare this with like weakness policy, right? And then all you need is 92 speed right here, modest nature, because 92, the, the fastest Pokemon in the format right now in the regional decks is Dragapult. And I think Dragapult's base speed is like 142. So if you if proc is weak armor, you only need this much speed to um to outspeed dragapult after plus two or like tailwind or whatever right so then you can invest the rest in bulk you can like raise a special attack more if you want and then lower this the lower the hp but um you have the weakness policy so you're getting like the plus two boost and speed in and uh your special attack but you just need somebody to proc it so you know like you know like Golduck or something you know aqua jet you can do like a weak like a you know Golduck is usually a special attacker so you can do like Golduck or whatever yeah just an example or you can do like uh you can do palafin <laughs> I, I've been seeing this on the ladder too. They've been running like a choice scarf palafin. And you know you need to switch out palafin to uh to activate his zero to hero. So you run like flip turn. And then you I mean you take taking a lot of damage, but like I mean he's on he only has before he's in his hero form, he only has 70 attack, right? So you can flip turn on your own armor roots, right? <laughs> and then proc his weakness policy in his weak armor, and then you switch palafin into like Indeedy or something. And then uh or you know, whatever you want. 
and then uh and then now you prop the weakness policy and you prop the zero to hero so it's like it's like the best of both worlds but you gotta be careful because like you know he's taking some damage you, you can like crit the armor rude or whatever depending on the palafin's uh ev spread so uh yeah I, th I just think that's pretty funny and then you know like the fire terror type right so um i like armor cannon and heat wave uh side shot you can do expanded force too depending on like if the dds or anything usually you want to pair him with a dd i think that's his best partner especially since he's the only thing that gets expanded force but uh, you know, this could be a span of force, side shock, whatever. I like heat wave because this is a spread attack and armor cannon is basically fire close combat. So I think it's a pretty good set. Same thing here. The reason I'm running aura spear because of the fighting type. So like I said, you can break through certain things. But yeah, this is always pretty funny to me. And then this one, this one is like uh, maybe you're not running in DD. And it's, it's the same trick room like build as before. But this one I run covert cloak because if you're trying to get the trick room off, covert cloak stops you from getting like um from taking fake out pressure from flinching right so you can like guarantee your trick room and maybe you run like a moon or something or brute bonded or something like something along those lines and you know the rage pop whatever but usually and, and then like i said terror type grass is i think terror type grass fighting and fire are his best terror types right now from what i've seen maybe you know things have changed it's still early but um i like grass too to cover for his other like his water weakness and things like that so um yeah and then armor cannon uh heat wave you could like switch out wide guard i like wide guard but if you can switch it out too if you want this could be like mixed and match you could put like expand the force side shot whatever you want here ally switch you got ally switch they didn't nerf ally switch this generation so now it works like protect it'll be 100 percent the first time and then it'll be like 50 or 30 percent the second time something like that uh, i think these sets i like this one the most <laughs> i like this one a little you, you could like like i said clear i'm gonna like life orb i'm currently making this one right now you need your zero remember you need your zero attack ivs though here because remember he's a psychic type and i just bred me one in the game it took a minute but i got me a zero speed zero attack iv armor rules because remember the more ivs you have an attack the more he's going to take damage from foul play and i know that might seem niche that might that might not even come up but you never know man you want to be prepared for the worst this could make or break you in tournament basically like that one that foul play you weren't you weren't prepared for because you just you didn't put in the grind to get that zero attack iv remember he's a psychic type so you know it's super effective but the less ivs and attack the better and then in trick room you want the zero iv as well so but yeah I honestly think Ndidi is his best partner. You want to, you definitely want to play him with Ndidi because I mean he gets expanding force. He's the only Pokemon in the game right now that gets expanding force. So I mean you could do just you know build a really tanky Ndidi and then helping hand, you know, helping helping hand. Uh, uh, you want to follow me? That's the redirection, like protect. Oh, safety goggles so you ain't getting spored. <laughs> you know things like that. Ndidi's good to go, man. Ndidi doesn't get uh they nerfed it. Ndidi don't it don't get expanding force or or uh, uh mystical fire anymore but this is good enough you know and then like i even like brute bonnet brute bond is very good too like with it because brute bonnet can be like you know brute bonnet still even even man even uh amongus amongus is good too but brute bonnet let's say trick room goes up he's very strong you know c bomb i think that's what his moveset is uh he even gets cold combat that's crazy he can deal with the pesky dark types with the armor rules or whatever i think he gets sucker push too but i mean if you run it if you want second terrain i don't know if you want to do that but um yeah, brute bonnet is very he still gets spore too which is crazy you under trick room hold oh, oh yo what's your dark moves man hold on i gotta look at this this is supposed to be armor rules video i'm looking at brute bonnet anyway you know something along those lines i forget i don't know what dark move he gets but what is he like dark pose or whatever well anyway this ain't about him i like him though as a partner but in trick room even gargana say i mean how long is this video gonna be i just keep thinking of stuff i love early pokemon format you just you know gar garganical in, in trick room and this thing is a menace you know what i'm saying iron defense you know body breast you know what i'm saying the, the options are unlimited it's crazy out here you can you can even run it with torkoal like torkoal torkoal uh you know he sets the sun you know what i'm saying he sets the sun for armor rouge and then remember trick room is up you know you can run torque on the back too it could just be a flame team you know you can run your heat wave your eruption man it's crazy out here yeah, there's so much synergy with these mods look you can just you can just tear through your opponent solar beam if you want yeah, yawn there's so many options you you got the trick room up anyway you might as well throw torque on the team max max fire torque or not max fire excuse me i'm thinking of sword of shield i'm still a sword of shield y'all uh you know terrify your torque with charcoal drought man it's crazy out here man it's crazy but anyway those are the sets uh those are the sets i like and then you're gonna play them like, i like this one the most i like this one the most. i think this one is fun too but in dd trick room i really like this one but anyway if you learned something today don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one okay peace